Krieger, Migrant Fleet Marines. We listen to the feedback from fans and press from the original Mass Effect, and we just implement a ton of features and improvements across the board. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. There isn't a single aspect of Mass Effect 2 that we didn't touch in terms of trying to improve the quality of the experience of the player. Let's go shoot some gas. For people who played Mass Effect 1, what they're going to really notice on Mass Effect 2 is how much better it looks. This is Tachanka's most recent scar. The lighting is improved, the character, the detail we have in there is incredible. It endures like the Krogan. The graphics of Mass Effect 2 are absolutely phenomenal. Mass Effect 2 looks fantastic. Just gorgeous. It, it looks beautiful. It's so wonderfully futuristic and, and lifelike. It feels like you're uh, in a movie. Except you get to participate in it. What we're going for is a game with a lot more intensity. Take it fire. So we spent a lot of time improving the combat in the game. We spent a lot of time streamlining the RPG mechanics. You have to let it go. Your past doesn't have to control you. Fluid, seamless frame rate as well. This is locked and loaded at 30 frames a second. It's very smooth, the texture's loaded, it's beautiful. I am Omega. The combat is incredible. You can take cover. You can shoot over top of the cover. Characters grab each other, they pull each other, they, they move each other around. So what you're going to get is the same amount of gameplay as you got in Mass Effect 1, it's just going to be better. Mass Effect 2 really is this incredible balance of action and story, probably among the best in the gaming space. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. I never want to see you again, Nikit. Done. The intensity in Mass Effect 2 comes from a, a couple different sources. First off, this game is as much a shooter as it is a role-playing game. The combat in ME2 is, is vastly, vastly superior to ME1. It's got really tight, precise controls, so you really feel moment to moment like you can hit your target. Enemy down. If you're a really good shooter, you can hit the tank with just a bullet, ignite it, and then it'll just explode. You actually feel like you're physically there, right down to actually being able to hit enemies. You can throw people around, you can shoot them in the air, you can freeze them, you can blast them, your party members can do all different things. Kill me. You can focus in on people and then curve your biotics around any cover that they're in and then pull them back out that way. Stuff like that that opens up a whole different range of techniques that you could never do on M1. You got tactical depth with biotic powers, tech abilities, and a ton of weapons. What we wanted to do is give a lot more value to the player as they're upgrading. So what you'll see is unique weapons for every time you get a new gun. We wanted to give you like an entirely new model. When you get something, it's immediate, it's apparent, it's it looks different, you get a different silhouette on it, and it's got different gameplay as well. When you pull the trigger, every weapon actually has a different feel in your hands. Everything is kind of reacting in terms of the rumble and the visuals and the sound. It all comes together and it just makes it a much more visceral experience. Strategic as well, it's much more intelligent and uh, exciting combat experience than it, than it was in every one. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. We created really a, a revolutionary conversation system that really allows you to make choices and drive the conversation based on you know, what you want to do emotionally, uh, where you can actually literally interrupt in real time and, and, and suddenly perform an action. But I'm coming in there and we're going to talk south. You're in my way. Sit down. The exciting thing about the conversation system in, in Mass Effect is you don't know what Shepard's going to do. Like, you kind of direct him in a certain way, and suddenly he's going to act in a unique way. I've got nothing more to say to you. you can it's very, very powerful because you, you feel like you're directing it, but yet you're still amazed and surprised by what happens. Another thing that people love about our games is that we, we provide you with these huge choices that, you know, affect the outcome of the game. What are you looking at? You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I Fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. 
they can play the characters a lot darker and have a lot more darker experience, or they can play it a lot more Paragon, um, and they can, you know, they can shape the story as they want. You gotta make the decision when you're playing a game like this, at some certain points, do I really, really make the decision to be nice to everybody? Doesn't look that bad, actually. He doesn't need to know that. If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. How are you going to play? Who, you know, are you going to let people die, or are you going to try to do everything you can and to keep to keep them alive? And what the hell do you want? At any one time, you know, you're faced with a lot of different things you can do, but then you really get a focus moment when you have to decide who lives and dies. We kill you first. I've had enough of this. little choices here and there and it changes everything. They're morally challenging choices. You can be a paragon or renegade, but they're gonna have outcomes and you're gonna have to live with the consequences of your actions. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. Time to spill a little murk blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. As you make choices in a Mass Effect game, those choices not only affect the remainder of the story. One less now. But when you take that same character that you've created and you pull that character into the next game, like taking a character from Mass Effect 1 to Mass Effect 2, it pulls in all of the history and the decisions that you've made. And that's incredible. It's never been done like that before.